ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهد الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله انتجبه لولايته واختصه برسالته واكرمه بنبوته امينا على غيبه ورحمة للعالمين وصلى الله على محمد وآله وعليه السلام أوصيكم عباد الله بتقوى الله وأخففكم من عقابه فإن الله ينجي من اتقاه بمفازتهم لا يمسهم سوء ولا هم يحزنون ويكرم من خافه يقيهم شر ما خافوا ويلقيهم نظرة وسرورا وأرغبكم في كرامة الله الدائمة وأخففكم إقابه الذي لا انقطاع له ولا نجاة لمن استوجبه فلا تغرنكم الدنيا ولا تركنوا إليها فإنها دار غرور كتب الله عليها وعلى أهلها الفناء فتزبدوا منها الذي يكرمكم الله به من التقوى والعمل الصالح فإنه لا يصل إلى الله من أعمال العباد إلا ما خلص منها ولا يتقبل الله إلا من المتقين After all due praise to Allah Almighty Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Our Creator, Our Nourisher, Our Provider, Our Sustainer, Our Lord We seek best of His blessings and favors For His most beloved servant For best of His creations For seal of His prophets and messengers our nabi our rasul our ideal our example rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and his purified household ahlul bayt alaihim salatu wassalam jamaatul muslimin assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh First of all, I would like to extend my congratulations and tabarikat on this auspicious day of and Mubarak day of Eid al-Fitr al-Mubarak. May Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our, yours and ours, a'mal, Ibadat, ta'at, efforts, whatever humble efforts we made in this past month of Ramadan, may Almighty Allah accept it. May Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala count us among those who have been in the list of forgiven people, in the list of those who have been Freed from his fire, inshallah, min utaqa'ik min an-nar. And today is day of Eid, brothers and sisters. Today is the day when we are supposed to receive gifts and Eidi. And in this beautiful dua from Ahlul Bayt, alayhim salatu was salam, we read, which we just read, in between takbirat. That, oh Allah, this is the day of jawa'iz. This is the day of gifts. This is the day of Eidi. Oh Allah, we fast for one month. We stood for one month in nawafil and du'as. And we are coming to you to receive our gift, to receive our prize. To receive our rewards. Wallah, don't turn us back without rewarding us. You are the most generous. You are the most compassionate. You are the most kind. Indeed, this is what we pray and make dua in this great day of Eid. Yes, brothers and sisters, it is Eid of Fitr. And why 
It is called Eid of Fitr. You know why? For a number of reasons. First of all, because we break our fast, Fitr, Iftar. Therefore, it is called Eid al Fitr. It is called Eid al Fitr because we pay zakat of fitra before performing this salat of eid therefore it is called eid al fitr and this is called eid al fitr why because eid is celebration eid is day of happiness and pleasure and therefore it is called Eid and then also we celebrate Eid al-Fitr because it's a Eid and day of gathering gathering ishtima and finally it is Eid al-Fitr. Eid means to return. Why Eid is called Eid? Because it comes back every year. Out. It returns. Eid al-Fitr. And why it is called Eid al-Fitr? Because Fitr comes from Fitra. And Fitrat means nature means it is the day of return to our pure nature. One month our job was to wash, to clean, to remove so much of pollution and disease and dirt sitting on this nature, in this, on this clean nature. One month we tried to wash inside ourselves, clean ourselves, purify ourselves, and today we are back to our pure nature. We are celebrating return to our pure nature. And all these meanings which I just now explained to you, are beautifully mentioned in that dua by fourth Imam of Ahlul Bayt, Imam Zainul Abidin, Sayyidul Sajidin, alayhi salatu was salam. And I would like to quote for you few sentences from that beautiful dua bidding farewell to month of Ramadan. Just few sentences, just to understand what we passed and where we are and what we're supposed to be from here onward. Assalamu alaik, ya shahr Allah al akbar, wa ya ida awliya Imam Zainul Abidin, we are celebrating Eid today. And Imam Zainul Abidin is saying to month of Ramadan, farewell veda to O oh, greatest month of Allah, O oh, Eid of Awliya of Allah, O oh, Eid of friends of Allah. I don't have time. In another sentence, Imam Zainul Abidin says, Wajbur. Musibatana Allahu Akbar. Wallah, we are inflicted with a tragedy by losing month of Ramadan. Compensate this loss by keeping us on the spirit of Ramadan. Assalamu alaik ya akrama maskubin minal awqat wa ya khayra shahrin. 
ओ बेस्ट फ्रेंड ओ बेस्ट कंपेनियन गुड बाय फेयरवेल टू यू ओ द बेस्ट मंथ फ्रॉम आवर्स एंड डेज एंड देन इन अनदर पार्ट ही सेज अल्लाह मसलखना बे इन सलाउज शहर मिन खता वल्लाह विद पासिंग ऑफ दिस मंथ मेक अस पास फोर्थ फ्रॉम अवर मिस्टेक्स खताया व अखरज ना बे खरूज ही मिन सै and make us out of this month like coming out of our sins wajalna min as'ad ahlihi bi an appoint us thereby among its most fellowship people wa ajzil him qisman fi wa awfir him او فرحم حزا من والله make us among those people who got the best share out of this month of ramadan see this is exactly what i explained to you month of ramadan month of cleansing month of ramadan month of return to nature to purity to cleanliness we supposed to take care of this clean and pure nature allahumma inna natubu ilayka fi yawm fitrina wallah we return to you in the day of our fitr and iftar when we break our fast and now like imam zanul abidin says alladhi ja'altahu lil mu'minina eedan wa surura wallah wallah this is the day you made for the believers eid eid celebration surur pleasure and happiness so imam is acknowledging it's a day of happiness it's a day of joy it's a day of pleasure that's all no wale ahli millatika majma'an wa muhtashada and this is the day also for your community and nation day of ijtima assembly day of gathering day of showing power yes brothers and sisters when we celebrate this great day we remember these very important points in our mind pure nature forgiveness of allah freedom from the fire day of happiness yes but not only day of happiness day of expression of power this beautiful dua which we read in the dua of hand qunut five times in the first rakat second rakat four times what we say alladhi ja'altahu lil muslimina eeda this is the day oh allah you made for the muslimin eed celebration wa li muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa alihi zukhran wa sharafan wa mazidan wa karama and you made for muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wasallam salawat ala muhammad wa ali muhammad day of honor why it is day of honor for prophet muhammad treasure dignity karama honor treasure for muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam how why this gathering of you this coming out of you in this huge numbers that in this city for example where your population probably is not more than 20% at the most but whole city can see that muslims are walking the ummah 
of Rasulullah is all together walking toward their masajid, toward their Eid. Allahu Akbar. This is expression of power. This takbirat which we say, brothers and sisters, what are these takbirat? These are takbirat to express our commitment to Allah and power to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Huh? When Imam 8th, Imam Ali ibn Musar Rida, was requested by the Mamun, please come out, you must perform Salat of Eid. How Imam Rida came out, he folded his sleeves and then started moving from his house saying, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Wallahu Akbar, Walillahil Hamd. The whole world was with him. They say that even the birds, even the animals, everyone was saying, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. This was the situation of Eid, which is expression of power of this Ummah. Respected brothers and sisters, let us celebrate this Eid in this spirit, inshallah. Awsikum ibad Allah wa nafsi bi taqwa Allah. Wa asuman Allah wa iyyakum bi taqwa wa jaal Allah wa tukhiran lana wa lakum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa al-Asr, inna al-insana lafi khusr. إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر. الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهدي ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه. ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهد الله فلا مدل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله ولو كره المشركون وجعله رحمة للعالمين بشيرا ونذيرا وداعيا إلى الله بإذنه وسراجا منيرا من يطيع الله ورسوله فقد رشاد ومن يعصهما فقد غوى أوصيكم عباد الله بتقوى الله الذي ينفع بتعاته من عطا والذي يضر بماسيته من عصا الذي إليه معادكم وعليه حسابكم فإن التقوى وصية الله فيكم وفي الذين من قبلكم قال الله عز وجل ولقد وصينا الذين أوتوا الكتاب من قبلكم وإياكم أن اتقوا الله وَإِن تَكْفُرُوا فَإِنَّ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ غَنِيًّا حَمِيدًا إِنْ تَفْعَلُوا بِمَوْعِظَةِ اللَّهِ وَالْزَمُوا كِتَابَهُ فَإِنَّهُ خَيْرٌ فَإِنَّهُ أَبْلَغُ الْمَوْعِظَةِ وَخَيْرُ الْعُمُورِ فِي الْمَعَادِ عَقِبَةً وَرَغَدَ اتَّخَذَ اللَّهُ الْهُجَّةَ فَلَا يَهْلِكُ مَنْ هَلَكَ إِلَّا أَنْ بَيَّنَتَهُ وَلَا يَحْيَى مَنْ حَيَّى أَنْ مَنْ حَيَّى إِلَّا أَنْ بَيَّنَتَهُ وَقَدْ بَلَّغَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَآلِهِ الذي أرسل به فالزموا وصيته وما ترك فيكم من بعده من التقلين كتاب الله وأهل بيته الذين لا يذل من تمسك بهما ولا يهتدي من تركهما اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك على محمد عبدك ورسولك سيد المرسلين وإمام المتقين ورسول رب العالمين اللهم وصل على علي أمير المؤمنين ووصي رسول رب العالمين عبدك ووليك وهجتك على خلقك وآيتك الكبرى والنبع العظيم وصل على الصديقة الطاهرة فاطمة سيدة نساء العالمين وصل على سبت يا الرحمة وإمام يا الهدى الحسن والحسين سيد الشباب أهل الجنة وصل على آئمة المسلمين وهداة المستضعفين وهداة المؤمنين 
وحمات المستدعفین علی ابن الحسین زین العابدین و محمد ابن علی باقر العلوم و جعفر ابن محمد الصادق و موسی ابن جعفر القادم و علی ابن موسی الرضا و محمد ابن علی الجواد و علی ابن محمد الهادی و الحسن ابن علی الاسکری و الخلف الهادی المهدی و ججک علی عبادک و امنائک فی بلادک صلاتا کثیرتا دائما اللہم افتح لہو فتحا یسیرا و انصره نصرا عزیزا اللہم اظہر بہی دینک و سنت نبیک حتی لا یستخفی بشائم من الحاق مخافت اہد من الخالق اللہم انا نرغب الیک فی دولت کریمہ تعز بها الاسلام و اہلہ و تذل بها النفاق و اہلہ و تجعلنا فیها من الدعاة الى تعتک و القادة فی سبیلک و ترزقنا بها کرامت الدنیا و الاخرہ اللہم ما حملتنا من الحق فعرفنا و ما قصرنا انہو فعلمنا اوسیکم عباد اللہ و نفسی بتقوى اللہ Once again I remind myself and all of you who are present here for taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala especially in this day after Ramadan in this day of Eid protect what you achieved in month of Ramadan protect the treasure of taqwa after 30 days of intense exercise and training and this spiritual treasure is never ever complete perfect without our care and concern and responsibility toward the greater ummah of islam ja'altahu lil muslimin eida nine times in this salat you say to allah you made it this Eid for Ummat of Islam. You made this Eid honor for the Prophet of Islam. How you can have Eid in a selfish manner without knowing, without letting, without realizing, without even thinking, without even sharing with those who are in our own society, country, suffering, less fortunate, underprivileged, for them Eid is a difficult situation. And also our brothers and sisters in Iman, in Islam, those who are suffering in the different parts of the world. Different parts of the world. Their Eid is a different Eid. And I will not go in great details, but would like to draw your attention, brothers and sisters, for two very, 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 very important issues. And all of you are aware, alhamdulillah. And all of you are awake, I am sure. But it is my responsibility to remind. Number one and the most important is situation in Palestine. Uh, we, alhamdulillah, having Eid peacefully. You know how Eid in Gaza, how Eid is in Quds itself, under the bombardment, under the shelling, under the rockets which are falling on them, innocent people, children, women, killed Allah. Especially this Eid is really very different. Ramadan itself was very different. How our Palestinian brothers made their Ramadan in this one of the holiest mosques of Islam, Masjid al-Aqsa al-Mubarak. And how 
they were not even allowed to pray and not allowed to atakaf and not allowed to do their ibadat in this masjid but also were pushed out of even close by neighborhoods of masjid this is what's happening today is really really something we cannot even imagine here how this whole gassa burning buildings after buildings coming down janazas after janazas they are carrying allah what about but i would like to say one thing here brothers and sisters and share with you in this eid day of course suffering of the people of palestine we can speak and speak and you are watching on whatever little bit available on social media naturally mainstream media does not reflect mainstream media only talks about two parties for them victim and culprit are both same but with the help of social media little bit we have access to what is going on there but one thing i would like to share with you very clearly brothers and sisters that alhamdulillah rabbil alamin after all the sufferings and injustice and oppression committed against them one thing is very clear that palestinian nation palestinian people are standing they are standing they always stood i'm not saying but this time they are uprising they are stand their resistance is felt more than any other time it has taken sleep of the people oppressors and zionists the way these rockets and missiles of palestinian resistance alhamdulillah rabbil alamin falling on the different cities of israel and different settlements these occupiers these most terrible people on the face of earth allahu akbar are now feeling the pain they they, they cannot think that one side is israel with all its most modern weaponry and everything in their hand and with the whole world supporting them and on the other side are these people with nothing but in those small areas and restricted situations how really bravely and courageously they are standing and producing missiles which are going to the most far point of israel south to north huh? taking their sleeps away making their life hell according to their own estimates two or three days more than 100 and i don't know 60 million dollar damage only to economy of one area for example much more than that that's what they are saying this is alhamdulillah rabbil alamin promise of almighty allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our support and our solidarity is important alhamdulillah people of cape town came out in numbers numbers they came out alhamdulillah and showed their support and we also of course acknowledge that broader south african this is unique huh? hardly anywhere in the world that is a situation people are all supporter of palestinian cause everywhere in the world but political parties and in such a big number members of civil society and even ruling party and all of them are out in full force to support people of palestine this is really makes us proud south africans absolutely no doubt about it salawat ala muhammad wa ali muhammad of course we expect from south african government much more firm concrete action than just lip service of support we want to see that what you have issued statements the way and the african national congress and different other bodies came out in full force in support and condemning israeli you know atrocities they must practically also show 
that they are committed to what they say in their statements. Inshallah, that is our expectation from them. Hope it will materialize. Inshallah. The second important point also, of course, I would like to draw your attention, brothers and sisters. And that is the tragedy which is taking place in Afghanistan. And unfortunately, it has been sidelined. Nobody even talks about it. We cannot really, really ignore what is happening in Afghanistan to a community, Allahu Akbar, who has suffered so much, Allahu Akbar. And the recent incident when a girls' school by the name of Sayyidu Shuhada, by the name of Imam Hussain, during the month of Ramadan, during the fast, was bombarded. Bomb was placed. And as a result, approximately now 70 to 75 young, young girls, Allahu Akbar, massacred in that school. What is their crime? Their crime is, I have no other words to say, brothers and sisters. And I don't feel comfortable to say, but that's what it is. Their crime is that they love Imam Hussain. Their crime is this, that they follow family of the Prophet, Ahlul Bayt, alayhimu salatu wassalam. This is not one incident. This Hazara community, which lives in Pakistan and Afghanistan, of course, are on a regular basis target of attacks and atrocities. In Pakistan, Quetta, how many times their houses, their masajid, their Husainiya have been bombarded and they have been killed in big numbers. Then they are, you know, they will even stop a bus and bring the people down in the middle of, a, for example, nowhere and separate these people from other people and shoot them and kill them one by one. Recently, you heard in the mine, in the mine, the poorest of the poor, really, really the poorest of the poor, in the mine, how many of these mine workers, all of them Hazara, all of them Shia, they were brutally massacred and killed. There is a systematic ethnic cleansing is going on against this community. They want to wipe them out from the political map of Afghanistan. This is, this is not something small. This is not something little brothers and sisters. These people have suffered and suffering every day by the hands of, unfortunately, a group of so-called Muslims, so-called people who call themselves sometimes when jihadi or whatever, whatever, by the name of Islam and whatever. And they kill girls of seven years, eight years, nine years, twelve years. Allahu Akbar, they massacre them. During the fast, in month of Ramadan, and they proudly say that we did it. Huh? Allah Akbar. And therefore, I think it was very important for me also to mention and make you aware of injustice committed against these people. Of course, in other parts of the world, situation in Bahrain, situation in Kashmir, situation in the parts of China and other parts. Of course, Burma the Rohingyas, and so on and so on, it is there, but I thought, let me just highlight this very, very important aspect, inshallah. Once again, Mubarak on all of you, this great Eid, may Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your amal and ibadat and efforts and ta'at, 
And may Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us again in our lifetime. Month of Ramadan and a barakat of month of Ramadan. And of course, and indeed in this day of dua, we make dua that may Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala relieve humanity from this terrible pandemic virus COVID-19 which has caused so much of suffering and hardship and death for the people. Please, after finishing namaz, keep social distancing, keep to the protocols, no greetings the way we normally greet. Take care of yourself, take care of others. I humbly request not to break the law, not to break this. It is important to take care of yourselves and take care of others. Life of a mu'min, life of a believer is precious, is important. Please, this is my humble request to all of you, brothers and sisters. Once again, awsikum ibadallah wa nafsi bataqwallah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Qul huwa Allah ahad. Allah samad. Lam yalid. Walam yulad. Walam yakullahu kufuwan ahad.